I apologize in advance for the audio. I'm not using a mic, so it's a little rough, but we'll work through it. Uh, so what we're going to deal with today is this situation where we have a particular note that we want on all of our sheets, um, but we want to be able to control its visibility very quickly. So it might be something that says not for construction, uh, but once that CD set that's all complete comes around, you want to quickly turn it off. So how do we handle this inside Revit? Well, I'm going to show you the best way. First thing I'm going to do is create this as a label. I could do it as just text, but I want to give the user total control inside of the project on what this particular note says. So first thing I do is add a label and add a parameter because there's not anything default out of the box. Now this has to be a shared parameter. So I hit select and I go to edit. Um, if you don't have a shared parameter text file defined already, you're going to have to go ahead and create one. You basically just browse to where you want to save it. In my case, I already have one created, uh, so I don't even need to make a new group at this point. Um, I'll delete this out so you can see how I do it, but I'm just going to say new parameter. And I'm going to call this sheet set note. And it's going to be text, so they can type whatever they want in here. And I'm going to hit OK to back out of all this and I'm just going to add it to my label. All right, now I just need to rotate it into place. And I'm going to stretch this out far because if I don't, um, if they type something that's longer, it'll basically wrap around onto the title block itself. All right, so that looks good. Next thing I need to do is create a visibility parameter which is going to be a yes no parameter for this particular label. So I'm going to give myself a, a couple family types here. One's going to be called, um, I'm going to call this just a note visible, and one that says note hidden. All right, so now I can add my new parameter that's going to be sheet set note visible. And I want this to be a type parameter because I want to change. I want it to change for all uh, types of the sheet. So I don't want to just turn it off in sheet A101 and have A102 still have it on. I want it to be controlled on a more global scale. I'm also going to go ahead and set it to a yes no. Think of that kind of as on off and place it under graphics. And next thing I need to do is set it, turn it off for node hidden and for node visible. Make sure it's on. Hit apply, and that's set. So at that set, I just have to assign the visible visible parameter of the label to the yes no parameter I created. So all that means is you hit this button here and select that parameter we just created. Basically tie them together. All right, so that's set, and I'm pretty much good to go inside the family itself. So let's test this out in a new project. So I'm going to load this sheet into the project just by hitting load into project and then it'll be available when I right click here to go new sheet. And I have my two different types so I'm just going to start off. This one's going to be note visible. That's how I'm going to start. Hit OK. All right, well, let's see. We don't have anything here right now. Why is there a question mark? And that's because I have to add the shared parameter to the project. And the way I do that is go under Manage, Project Parameters, and hit Add. Okay, so now select Shared Parameter, and now it's basically looking into that text file and seeing what we got here. So if I had different groups, I could browse for it, but I just have this one. Hit OK. Um, now this is a key part. You might... Uh, might be your instinct to say, oh, well, I want this to be typed because I want it to change for all the sheets. And then you look for sheets and you don't see it. Well, this is where it's a little funky, and we have to keep it on instance. And what we're actually going to set it to is not sheets, but project information. And then it'll kind of act more so like a type parameter because we'll just be storing that in one place, and it'll push that information into the label for all our sheets. So it'll, it'll work the way we want it to. And I'm just going to leave it under text. That's fine. Hit OK. OK. All right, so where do we edit that shared parameter that we just placed inside this project? Well, it's right here under your Manage tab, Project Information. And there you see it right there, Sheet Set Note. So what I'm going to make that say is not for construction. 
and hit OK. All right, cool. So it's appearing in our sheet. Let's go ahead and create another sheet. Same thing, note visible. Hit OK there. OK, so now I can go ahead and swap these out. Note hidden, and there we go. It's good to go. Um, one thing I'm thinking as I think about this, why you might want to just have one type, is that I would be able to select here, go edit type, just in the one sheet, turn it on or off, and push those changes to all the sheets. Instead of having to open up each one individually and changing the type it's assigned to, uh, that's probably the better way of doing it. So that's the only change I would make is just edit type. I'll just rename this generic sheet. Hit OK. And I'll just delete. I could delete that other one out of there. So just control it in that fashion, edit type, turn it on or turn it off, and it'll apply to um, all your sheets as long as they're the correct type. Okay, so the next question we had was for uh, placing an image. So if we go back to our um, sheet family here and we insert an image, One thing you're going to notice is I can't control the visibility of an imported image. So the workaround here, because this is like a, a seal that we want to you know, have on once our drawings are going for permit, what I can do is nest another family inside of this one. So what I'm going to do is go to New Family, and I'm going to create this as a generic annotation family. Hit Open and get this little bit of text out of there and do that same process I did in the sheet and I know that I want this to be 1.75 1. inches Okay, and I can go ahead and just load this into my sheet family, my title block family and place it right there hit modify to exit that command Shift it over a little bit. Okay, so now I have control of the visibility of this particular uh, oh, seal. So I'm going to add another yes no parameter. Again, it's going to be a type parameter and it's going to be a yes no. And I'll, I'll just put in our graphics, stay consistent. Hit OK apply, hit OK, and then assign its visibility to that parameter. So now when I load it into my project, not the other little family I created, and make one more new sheet here, and I'm going to use, I'm only going to use um, note visible so again, basically what I was mentioning is don't make a note hidden, note visible. You'll be changing them on an individual basis and making more work for yourself. So I'm going to make sure these are all note visible. That sheet is good. This sheet, set that note visible. Note visible. Okay, so now they're all good. So now what I'm able to do is say all of a sudden, I don't want it to say not for construction. I don't want this seal on here. So I can click on this edit the type properties, turn them off, hit apply, and now when I go into every single sheet, it's off. Okay, So that's a nice little way that we can control this quickly on a global basis. Thanks a lot.